at the TechCrunch Robotics Plus AI Conference at the University of California, Berkeley, a cooking robot called Nimbo whips up mushroom rotini. The meal is then packed into an autonomous delivery robot where it heads to its destination. Delivery robots also cross paths with Burrow, which is actually a self-driving robot with the primary purpose of following workers as they harvest crops. These Stanford University students build quadrupeds like Doggo, which can jump a meter high and do back handsprings. They built their latest robot, Stanford Pupper, for just $600. This is Spot from Boston Dynamics, the robot dog which is already on the market. It's one of the main influences for the various Stanford robots. They've all come together. Now what happens when these robots become smarter and smarter? I personally hope that, number one, it can be an educational tool and it provides a platform for kids to write their own software. So what that could mean is writing some type of artificial intelligence on top of the robot so it could track, maybe follow you around, recognize you know, certain objects. My hope is that people take it uh, in their own directions. But the direction AI is currently taking is under the microscope by some experts. I think a lot of people assume that, you know, you make AI better, you win. No, you make AI better, you lose. University of California Berkeley professor Stuart Russell is the author of the book Human Compatible, Artificial Intelligence and the Problem of Control. He gives an example. What if an AI robot is only designed to serve me coffee? If that's your only objective in life, is to make sure that Mark gets a cup of coffee, right? Well, one of the things that would occur to you is if someone switches me off, I'm not going to be able to deliver the coffee to Mark. That would be a tragedy. So I have to take every possible precaution to make sure that there are no human beings who could switch me off. Russell believes computer scientists need to make sure AI algorithms defer to human permission from the very start. He says AI will create a host of other issues for people. Employment is one. What will humans do? How will we maintain the incentive to learn ourselves, to train, to acquire skills, knowledge, capabilities, when we can only just have machines do it for us. Spending on AI systems is expected to triple to nearly $100 billion in 2023, meaning everything around us will quickly be getting smarter, for better or for worse. Mark New, CGTN, Berkeley, California.